She was thrown out of a moving vehicle at six months old. And then the squatter picked her up and put her in a cage for about a year and a half. She never saw the sunlight. Hey, I'm Josh, and this is Cricket Story for GeoBeats. I used to do a lot of rescue and rehabilitating fighting dogs in Detroit. So once I heard about her, I went and rescued her from that situation. I'm like, hey man, we got two options here. You can either just give me the dog scot-free or we can contact the authorities. And unfortunately, you would lose the dog and your home. So he just willingly gave me her, which was the best case scenario. When I got her, the first thing we did was we went and got an ice cream and took her to an open field and I just let her be a dog. She was hoarded up in that house. She never <laughs> left that cage. All of her business was in that cage. It took about 10 baths for her to get that stink off. I was in the military for four years. I'm a veteran who suffers from PTSD and I'm permanently disabled. I needed a service dog. So I figured two birds, one stone, train her to be a service dog. And she's just living the best life now. This dog is nothing but pure happiness. It's kind of funny. She's been through so much and she's just pure joy. It doesn't matter who you are. She wants to greet you with a smile and a little wiggle. The guide wanted her to be a protection dog and she's a horrible protection dog. She's just too happy. <laughs> The first few weeks I had her, it was like she was my dog from forever. We were definitely a match made in heaven and clicked right away. When I go to the grocery store, yes. I can't bend down. Good. If I drop anything, she'll grab it and bring it to my cart. When I'm trying to get up out of bed, she helps with anchoring to help me get up. She walks between my legs while I walk because my legs give out inward, so it braces my legs and helps me walk. Where's your stuffy? I don't go into a lot of big grouped areas, but when I am, she helps me cope with the PTSD. Just her presence being there and watching different directions for me. She's a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. We get a mostly positive reactions because she is so cute. But then the people who don't know her breed, she gets labeled as a pit bull. So people are instantly scared. I taught her to wave at kids. So anytime a kid waves, she waves back. I call her a blanket dog. She always has to be under a blanket. It could be a hundred degrees out, but she wants to be under the blanket. Has to be touching you or snuggling. Very affectionate. She's come so far. You just would never know if she came from the situation she was in. It's like a, a parent watching their kid grow up and do good. <laughs> the smoochies. I've had plenty of dogs and there isn't one like her. She just completely understands me and I understand her without words. We're almost as one.